This is a stream called the Manzimnyama and it flows through the valley behind the Saint Luana there. And the retreats, the route, whatever you want to call it, is swept in this direction around that feature up there. And men are going to be coming down towards the river, trying to get across country down in that direction. Uh, there's quite an interesting account which talks about men on horseback bunching up when they reach a steep bank down into a stream, presumably this spot here. Uh, and somebody says, oh, there's a famous kind of quip uh, as they're all bunched up here and somebody at the back says, uh, get off your horse there in front. This is no place to be riding a horse. And somebody behind says, well, it's no place to be leading one either. Uh, and they get down through the kind of chaos here. Some of them get across the river. In fact, I suspect quite a lot didn't. I suspect they bunched here and the Zulus caught them and killed them. And that's what these cans are right on the edge of the drop down here. Now, when we did the survey in 2000, we were allowed to open up that can there because it was pretty splattered uh, and it was coming to pieces. And we had a TV team, Channel 4, who were doing, some, doing a documentary called Secrets of the Dead, um, which they were filming. And they were very keen for us to find some remains which they could then reconstruct with all those modern techniques. Uh, and in fact, we did find some remains under that one. We found the part of the back of somebody's head, uh, a bit of his pelvis and various other, I think a finger bone and various other fragments. But there wasn't enough down there to reconstruct. Uh, and the reason is that a lot of these kids over the years have fallen down or have been opened up. <coughs> uh, and once the elements get to the remains, they break up quite quickly. So it depends how long they're exposed to the sun and the rain before somebody comes along and covers them up again. Uh, and really there are just little sort of bone fragments but it was uh, a Caucasian sort of uh, skeleton as far as they could tell, so it certainly was one of the soldiers. And possibly, as I say, killed in this kind of log jam of people when they reached the edge of, uh, of this river. And in fact, we're going to walk just a little bit further down and there's the last big concentration of graves down there. There are some other graves further on, but they're individual ones. Uh, and the last clump down there, there is a reference to a Lieutenant Anstey and 60 men of the 24th, the bodies thereof, found together on the banks of the stream further down, uh, and almost certainly that is where Lieutenant Anstey was. It's therefore very much the last stand of the 24th, um, as I say, rather different to the famous kind of imagery of everybody fighting out in the foot of the mountain. Uh, a, a desperate group of men, exhausted, probably all of them wounded. I'd be very surprised if they had a cartridge between them at that stage. Probably quite a lot of them have lost their weapons getting this far. Uh, and almost certainly they get to the bank and realise they're not going to scramble down safely with the Zulus all around them. Uh, and they bun hunch together there and put up some bit of resistance, presumably, but all overwhelmed and killed. So the grim end at Isand Luana is a lot sort of a lot more desperate and brutal and a lot less romantic than the famous Victorian paintings which have you believe. Are they actually... No, it's okay. I, think. I mean, 